Good morning. Good Saturday morning to everybody. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving and a good Black Friday. Um, I was at work on Friday, but we had a great day, so um, no complaints there. And I also don't do any shopping on Black Friday either because I know it's garbage. Um, I'm waiting for Cyber Monday, so um, I actually had some, we had some camera difficulty today, didn't we? You want to tell them a little bit about the camera difficulties we had while I was, uh, while I was working, uh, while I'm working on getting this set up? Go ahead and uh, let everybody know what's going on. No, I didn't misconfigure it. Okay, so she's getting it all wrong. I'm not gonna. No, don't listen to Revis. Uh, so this morning, um, we turned on the system and everything. I got everything booted up, and then all of a sudden, camera input was just not there. Like it was, uh, it was all static. Uh, I'm not sure what was going on. I, um, I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and it was still doing it. Um, restarted OBS and it started working. Um, so that's actually the first time this camera's ever done that. Um, every once in a while the camera feed does cut out, but that was the first time I've ever just seen like actual static background for the camera, like no no input whatsoever. It didn't even say no input, it was just lines, uh, like scan lines. I don't know if anybody remembers the CRT TVs, but it was just nothing but scan lines. Ooh, I'm sorry if that was really loud. Apologies. Really sorry if that was loud. Uh, we got the big coffee mug today, so not the we don't. Uh, today's not McDonald's coffee breakfast. Today is regular breakfast. I uh, we uh, we woke up this morning and uh, we made uh, what did we make? We made two eggs. Yeah, we made so we made two eggs fried hard with uh, onions, peppers, uh, green peppers, and um, that's right. And uh, baby uh, aged baby Swiss cheese and and two pieces of turkey. Obviously, two pieces of turkey, leftover food from Thanksgiving, right? So we had that on a, an onion flavored, uh, in a, yeah, an onion flavored pita bread. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's right. Good job, Rebus. Thank you. Um, Rebus and I have gotten into eating pita bread with uh, hummus lately. So we uh, we started doing the, uh, we, since we have leftover pita bread still and we have no more hummus, we were, we decided to eat the rest of the pita bread for breakfast. It was actually pretty good because I just cut the, pre, the pita bread in half and then just you know opened the pocket and then just shoved everything in there. And it was like a to-go breakfast burrito without the burrito part inside of pita bread. Um, you guys are going to notice today that I'm going to be doing a lot of moving around. Uh, what I'm doing is, is I'm wiping off my hands. Um, I, let my, uh, I let my sodium levels get a little bit too high. So I'm in a hyperhidrosis stage right now. Uh, my hands are constantly sweating. My feet are constantly sweating. So uh, as, I bring my, as I bring my sodium levels back to normal, I, uh, my hands are going to be constantly sweating. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be working on uh, taking care of that, uh, trying to keep my hands dry because it's there's nothing worse than getting uh, controller burn. For those of you that know, uh, if you play for long hours at a time, you'll get a uh, and your hands start to sweat and you keep rubbing the skin over the plastic. What happens after a while is you get controller burn. Yeah, you know, um, and then the next morning you wake up and your fingers burn from those you know the the sections that have been touching the controller and pressing on the buttons for so long. Uh, so what other, other announcements do we have today? Right. Yes. Absolutely correct. Uh, Revis just uh, just mentioned that uh, for those of you that have showed up for the morning um, for the morning stream that I do for uh, Super Metroid that I uh, I said I was going to do and that I did on Thanksgiving, uh, that's not going to be this week. I had to change that. Um, I have to give you know I got to give the Hollow Knight peeps some some love and they uh, they haven't received a whole lot of love lately. So I do, uh, I do, I do apologize for that. Um, we are changing the stream's format from blind play run for Hollow Knight. We are going to be using an assisted format. Uh, so when we're keeping the Blues Clue style, I am still going to ask for help from time to time. But uh, mainly, I'm going to be using the uh, the map to get me through quickly. Um, we're not going to be doing the DLCs because obviously most of you know about the DLCs and have probably already discovered them. Um, I did obviously find one of the DLCs already. Uh, the Grim Troop and. Um, we are going to do them eventually. Um, I don't know if I'm going to come back to stream them or not, but uh, the difficulty with the blind run is trying to keep yourself from playing the game when you're when you're not streaming. Um, and unfortunately, I um, my game time is a little bit is more um, it is a little bit more versatile than my stream time. Uh, my game time um, I can pretty much uh, game almost any time, but I play in the living room, and the living room does see a lot of traffic. So when I stream, I lock the living room down from traffic, and unfortunately, people don't uh, people can't be locked in their rooms forever. So. <laughs> So I gotta let them out, and, uh, and unfortunately, letting them out means I can't stream because I don't want any. Ba you know, I haven't uh, gotten a background yet. So once I get the green screen, uh, we're gonna go ahead and stream more. We'll be able to stream more because then with the green screen, I'll have blocked out everything behind me. But for right now, it would be distracting to have traffic uh, coming in and out uh, from behind the uh, from behind me and constantly seeing that on screen. So um, 
So we are changing the format a little bit today. Like I said, we're gonna we are gonna try and rush a little bit through Hollow Knight. We're gonna try and get as much as we can. Um, I do want to make the stream as long as possible. Uh, I was hoping to be able to stream until noon today, and since I already had a good breakfast in me, I should be able to knock that out with no issues. Um, anything else that we can think of? Uh, we're still doing. We are going to continue with the Super Metroid um, practice runs. I uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and I'm going to continue practicing what I was practicing on Thursday. So tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and we're going to do the Super Metroid practice. We're going to start from the beginning. Uh, we're going to load the ROM right before the spaceship hits the. Uh, before the escape, uh, we're gonna do uh, practice a couple turns on the escape to make sure I can get the escape timing down right. Make sure you know I get all the way to the right of the screen, get hit you know the proper amount of time, and then also make my escape quickly. Uh, after we do that, then we're, then we're gonna go and practice getting our first power bombs. Uh, once we get down mock balling and getting the power bombs quickly, and again this is not gonna be with any time or anything, then we're gonna move on to the rest. But I'll explain all that stuff tomorrow. That's not that's not today, so we're not gonna worry about that today. Um, we're just going to worry about what we're doing today, which is we're going to be running through Hollow Knight and we're going to be attempting to get uh, the items. Uh, so I have no, so I looked again. So this, like I said, I broke a, I broke the blind playthrough and now we went and we've looked it up. So now we need to go to the Royal Waterways and we need to get uh, Isma's tier. So we basically need to get, um, so if we go to the Royal Waterways, we have to get all the way over to that double hump. Okay, cool. So I can do that. That's not that's not too shabby. So we're going to get in here. And again, uh, so let me do this again. Uh, <laughs> so as you guys know, uh, fan art, any fan art submitted to the stream uh, will be posted on stream. I do apologize that I still have not put the person's name up that belongs to the fan art. Um, I'm, working on, I'm working on configuring the... Uh, the overlay rotation so that the image rotates with the person's name. I don't want to damage the image that they've presented me with. Excuse me. So I'm working on right now making a separate entry above uh, above the image itself that displays the person's name. I'm just trying to figure out how I can link the name and the image together. I know I can just put them in the same order and then play them together in the same order, but I was kind of trying to do it a little bit, um, a little bit more fancy. So we're working on that. We're also working on making our own custom transitions. Uh, and I just realized that the camera is tilting up again, so give me one second to adjust. There you go. All right. So, uh, are you ready to roll, Rebus? Always, right? That you're always ready to roll. This is this is why I love you so much, because you're just like always ready. Rebus never has to put pants on. Like I'm never like, hey, Rebus, let's go, and she's never like, I gotta put pants on. Me, on the other hand, she's like, hey, let's go, and I'm like, I have to put pants on. So. Thank you, Rebus, for always being ready. As you can tell, Rebus always looks beautiful. Uh, she always has her makeup done. Her makeup is tattooed on. As you can see, her eyeliner is tattooed on. Um, she doesn't have any other tattoos, but she does have her eyeliner tattoo. So I always like to uh, I always like to point out that Rebus has eyeliner tattoo. I'm sorry. Am I giving away your beauty secrets? I'm so sorry. It's not my fault. I just you're just you're so pretty. That's what it is. You're the most beautiful orange cow I've ever known. Well, yeah, you're also the only orange cow I've ever known. But still, you're the prettiest one. That's why I put you on stream with me, because you're awesome. Uh, so we need to go to... City Storeroom. It was actually pretty funny. When I was looking up the walkthrough, I realized that I'm actually not too far off from beating it on my own. Um, which was cool in of its own. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, and again, it's nothing personal to the game. I'm not trying to rush through to beat it, but I, uh, I also just got XCOM 2 recently, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing that too. And I've got Neo. I've got quite a few games that I want to continue, and some of them I do want to stream, so I want to, uh, I want to be able to get through as much as possible. My bad. I went to the wrong place. It's the, uh, it is right, it's literally right underneath... Right, because it's uh, the I see the entrance way to fungal wastes. That's green path. This is fungal waste. Did I go to the wrong one again? Why can't I identify this location? Sorry, guys. Give me one second, because I'm trying to identify where this location is. 
Oh, Royal Waterways. Wow. That'll do. Royal Waterways was... Where was the Royal Waterway? Fungal Waste? This is Forgotten Crossroads. So I'm looking I'm literally looking at the map comparing my map to what I see. Oh, the Royal Waterways. I don't have the map to this. It's underneath the City of Tears. I don't have the map for the Royal Waterway. All right, cool. So guess what we're doing? We're going into the Royal Waterways because we don't even have the map for this area. Look, all of this is on is is unexplored without a map. So we need to find con Cornifer, right? Cornifer, Conifer. We need to find Cornifer. There's Cornifer, right? Cornifer, yeah. We need to find Cornifer. All right, cool. Let's do this. Uh, so we're going. Actually, we're going to King Station. All right. Oops. Yeah, this is my doorway. All right. So, wow, I had no idea. No, that makes a lot more sense of why I haven't discovered that part yet, because I haven't even finished the Royal Waterways Cavern. It's terrible. So, we're going down there. We're going to drop to that, uh, where it says ancient, uh, where it says Royal Waterways. We're going to run over there. Okay, let's go. Can we? How far can we crystal heart? Darn, not very far, huh? Still, that wasn't too bad. And uh, it was quite a trip playing uh, playing, <laughs> playing Super Metroid on Thursday. It was uh, it was really good. And again, I hope everybody had a really good Thanksgiving. Um, we uh we had a good we had a good Thanksgiving, also. Oof. All right. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm done with you. It was uh lots of food, lots of family, lots of fun. It was good. Um. And again, like I said, guys, bear with me because this hyperhidrosis is like on super in super mode right now. So I'm literally having to wipe my hands every couple minutes to keep Rabba. myself from uh oh I swear I'm actually not bad at this game We made we made it into the Royal Waterway already. Okay, good. So I just want to see what entrance this is. So this is the long corridor entrance. That is the entrance that'll take me to Isthmus Tier. Or Isthmus Grave so that we can get his tier, but that's not what I want. I want to map the Royal Waterways. I'm actually just uh what I'm looking off screen is uh I'm looking at uh I'm looking at a small map that I have open next to the chat window that shows me the entire map of the Royal Waterways, because I I don't want to just look up where to go. I just want to look up and see where I haven't been so that I can go there next. And like I said, I would rather keep this as much of a to as much of a blind run as I can make it. So I didn't read where I needed to go and I didn't read where Conifer is. I just read that I just have the map open showing me. 
that is the Hollow Knight in the black vault far above. Through its sacrifice, Hollow Nest lasts eternal. So he's the Hollow Knight. I'm not the Hollow Knight? I thought I was the Hollow Knight. I guess that's pretty pretentious of me to just assume that I'm the Hollow Knight, though, right? We always assume that we're the... We always assume that we're the hero, right? When we're playing, we typically like to assume that. That's probably my fault for assuming that I was the hero and not the villain. Or possibly just a, a small piece in the cog in the wheels. Oh yeah, no, totally. This is a whole whole new section because I got monsters I haven't struck yet. Wow, look at this. I can't believe this. We've been... Pardon my French, but we've been sitting here dicking the dog. And, um... Oh crap. Been sitting here fooling around. And, um... This entire time, there was a whole section that I never even went under. Great, googly muggly. Alright, cool. So, so since we're here and we're exploring this, I'm gonna minimize the map because I don't want them. I don't need the map. I don't need the map on screen if I'm doing this myself at this point in time, at least. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, again, and I know I, I do this all the time every time I play this game, the level design is really, it's really fun. They uh, they did a great job. And now that I uh, and now that I had a chance to go back and play Super Metroid for a few a few hours and just compare them, it was crazy. Just the, uh, the 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 nostalgia feeling. I really was like, wow. I was like, okay. I was like, these guys really did capture the nostalgia feeling. Excuse me. These guys totally capture the nostalgia feeling of, of the exploration of Super Metro. Hey, buddy. Hello, Don't friend. kill me. Mmm. The water bugs bring me everything I wish for. I just need to find it. It brought you here, too. Are you hungry? I'll share my food with you. Uh, I think he's given me his food before. Yum. Yeah, he's given me his food before. I have no idea. I still don't know what the rancid eggs do. And uh, as I said before, I'm gonna give this game the proper, uh, the proper love and attention it needs after I'm done streaming it, and go through with a fine tooth comb. Oops. Really glad we can swim. Makes this game a lot better. Cornifer! Cornifer, where are you, sir? Oh wow, they provide extra light, too. I did not see that. I did not see that earlier. I didn't realize that they actually provide a light source. Oh, there we go. There's a bench. That's good. That makes me happy. What is this? Is this the entrance? Yes, this is the entrance. Those bugs look an awful lot like me. Did we notice this? That's kind of weird. I hope that's not what I turn into. Am I a pupa right now? Am I going to turn into that thing? You know, I just realized I probably shouldn't use my soul energy. <laughs> I love, I love the lights. Shh. You hear him? Talk to me, buddy. Are you under here? <laughs> that is one tough bench. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, I was gonna say, I don't even want to know what you do. <laughs> a rancid egg. Yeah, I mean, you could just tell by looking at them, right? Like, you knew, like, I knew these were, I was like, that's a rancid egg giver. 
I think I also hit one of those earlier up in uh, the upper city uh, area, right before uh, Crystal Peak, where I... What the... You have issues. Oh my gosh, there's another one that comes out of you. What? Three parts. Okay, so this is where we were earlier. Okay, good. Cornifer? The worst part about this is if I went the wrong way and I've explored too far already, that means Cornifer has moved. So for those of you guys that don't know, uh, we discovered this in the game. Cornifer moves according to your movements. So if you go to a place that the game designers weren't expecting you to get to first, because remember, this is an open world, so if you find a way or magically figure out how to get to a section of the game that they weren't planning on you getting to yet, or maybe you just explored too far and never stopped, uh, the map maker will move in accordance to your movements. Because um, we noticed this, that there have been times where we have found the map maker's notes, and he leaves a note behind saying, hey, you know, I missed you, sorry, I missed you, blah, 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 go back to my town to get the map. And then I find, you know, because I had found him in other areas, so if I, you can per, you can actually progress the map maker if you progress too far without discovering him in certain areas. Uh, we did we did find this out in this in this. What? Uh, so this is definitely a thing. Like it's real. I I definitely after I find I put it together not too long ago. Uh, it was one of the earlier streams that you can actually see it. Uh, where I had progressed to an area that I hadn't been to yet, and then later I backtracked to another section of the map that I had been to previously but didn't discover the map, and then when I discovered the map maker in the new area, when I went back to the old area that I hadn't been to, or fully discovered, uh, I found the map maker's note sitting there waiting for me, and it says, hey, you know, sorry, I missed you. Uh, you can go back to town and get the map. So then I had to backtrack to town to actually get the map. I just walked into a boss room. Oh man. How did you find the boss before you found the map maker, Bruno? Great. Can I strike those back at you? Golly. Oops, don't die. This is why we need the map maker. Okay. Funny story. How do you get back to where we just came from? Whoops. What do you do anyway by chance? Okay, you float. That's it. And that's a Oh, nice. That's That's a good. That's great. That's that's awesome. Good for you. Oh, he flips over. Okay, so when you hit him, he actually flips over. I think we were going this way. Right? We were, yeah, we were going this way. Why do I feel like that sounds like Zolt? Right? That sounds like Zolt, doesn't it? Or am I just, like, confusing uh, sound effects now? To me, that sounds like it's Zolt. What do you think, Rebus? You haven't said anything. You're mesmerized? <laughs> You're impressed that we we completely missed this entire section? Yeah, that makes two of us. Soul? Come on, buddy. Don't do this. Don't be like that. Are you not going to activate? Get over here. There you go. <laughs> not messing around with this guy again. Okay, 
We need to figure out where we need to go. Where is the map maker? What do you mean, how are you supposed to know? I don't, I'm ask. I'm not asking you where the map maker is. I'm just saying we need to figure out where the map maker is. <laughs> Revis takes a lot of questions personally, so if you ask her something, make sure you're asking it to her, not just asking it in gener as a generality, because she's gonna get confused. And remember, excuse me, and remember she's telepathic, so if she's speaking to you, don't, don't be scared. You're not crazy. That's just a talking orange cow in your mind. And if she doesn't speak to you, don't take it personally. But I'm fairly certain she speaks to almost everybody in here. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah, they flip over. That's sweet. You know, I'm really glad that these guys don't explode into giant spider things like the other guys used to. <laughs> Revis is extremely happy for that, too. I feel like this is... I feel like this is like a section transition. No? Okay, cool. I love it. This is, again, a totally new area. Monsters, all original. Um, pat uh, monster patterns, original and new. Nothing um, Nothing reused. Doesn't look like any assets reused or anything. Like, these guys are these guys are on point. Like I said, the, the developers of this game were on point. Like I said, the monsters, uh, their patterns, their attack patterns, everything looks pretty... Almost in every section, it seems like they're all original. Like they do something different. Like, yeah, there's definitely been crawling guys before, but there also hasn't been crawling guys that flip over and then turn into jumping guys. So this is definitely a cool, cool concept. They've definitely... Crystal hard time. Yep, crystal hard time. Oh! That would be painful. Oh! Where are we? No map for this area either? What is this? Seriously, what is this? More? Oops. That was a waste of soul juice. That's, uh, and that's what we call the stuff here. Uh, soul energy, soul juice. Basically, just take your pick. Soul something. I should have put a. Uh, I should have put steady nail on. I didn't even think about it. So, fun fact: we learned. We just learned uh, on Thursday. And some of you already probably realize this, but the Xbox controller is not an ideal controller to be using when you're playing Super Metroid. Uh, believe it or not, the PlayStation 4 controller, uh, I mean, if you have a, obviously if you have a USB or you have a Super Nintendo and you're using a Super Nintendo controller, that's the ideal method. But the PlayStation controller, the PlayStation 4 controller, believe it or not, is on point. Um, I was working on learning how to mock ball which I still am. Uh, I did get it once or twice and a couple times and I completed the, uh, the mock ball trick that I needed to do, but um, only those who prove their honor in combat may enter the grove beyond the defender. Is that a wall? That is a wall. Okay, so that's crazy. Um, but um, I, w I mean, it was, you know, after spending time trying to get it with uh, with the Xbox controller, believe it or not, I got it fairly quickly. Uh, once I grabbed onto the uh, PlayStation 4 controller, the, uh, the the mock ball movement was much easier and much smoother. And the reason for that is the D-pad. Uh, the D-pad on the Xbox One controller is not it's not really made. I don't think they they designed the D-pad with the purpose of actually using it. That people were going to use it as a, as a primary function and mo means of movement. 
I think they, this, when they were designing the Xbox controller, they felt that the thumbstick was going to be the primary control and function. And obviously, I can see why they would think of that, because what most first-person shooters, what are we using? We're using the thumbsticks when we're playing them, right? Dark Souls, what are we using? We're using the thumbsticks when we're playing. Uh, so I don't think they were thinking that the, uh, the diagonal pads, uh, the, the directional buttons, were actually going to be used for movement. Oh, there's a, is that a crack in the wall? Did I just walk through a crack in the wall? Oh man, now I'm definitely a bug. Like, I'm moving through the walls. So, um, for those of you out there that are playing uh, some of the older games, uh, playing them on emulators, or even just, uh, you know, if you have a controller hooked up to whatever the case may be, I, um, I recommend getting, um, if you're using the Xbox 360 controller and it's a game designed for a gamepad, or like an old school game, get a different controller hooked up. You'll be pleasantly surprised at how much better it actually is. This is all I received visitors. It's been so long again, ages even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. You're right to guess. I'm renowned amongst the upper caste of Hollow Nest. Eterna, eternal Emiliathi, Emil, Emil, Emiltia? Because that's not Emilia. Emilitia? Hmm. You know that sense my affluence, you're right to guess. I'm renowned amongst the upper caste of Hollow Knight. Of Hollow Nest, sorry. Well, I was once, until so those Kreans cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around all mindless and empty, and I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. Uh, I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. Yeah, but you're all alone. Ooh, Isn't life up. just wonderful? Not when you're by yourself in here. Ooh. No, it's not. It's not wonderful. Ooh. Nice. So yeah, since, since we missed this entire section, uh, Cornifer had moved on. Uh, so when we found other areas, he actually uh, moved on to them. So again, the, the attention to detail with these guys. If, the, if you move to a section that the map maker hasn't been to yet, or you haven't discovered him at the previous sections, he won't be there. His note, he'll leave you a note telling you that he was here and that you can get the map from his spouse in the store. Also, thus keeping the store relevant, because uh, as you guys know, if you can't, if you buy everything really quickly, the store kind of becomes irrelevant really fast. Um, but now the store has relevance again because every time you miss the map maker, the map maker actually takes a piece of the store, uh, the map, piece of the map that he's drawn, and sends it back to her so that you can then later collect it. So that's really cool also. One of the, uh, again, the, the developers really, this is definitely a labor of love, right? These guys really poured a lot of, a lot of attention to detail into this game. And I love it. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> I had it. I so had it. Every time those guys with that sound, they always get me. I'm like, is that you, buddy? I'm really glad when they're in the dying animation, they don't hit you. Uh, that was, I just, I was thinking about that as that dude circled around me. I was like, oh no, I was like, I'm gonna get knocked off the platform. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to the developers for not making that a death animation that has a hitbox, because that would have really sucked at life. I should probably pay attention, right? What am I doing? Again, I should probably pay attention. I would love to find at least... Are we close to another shell? Right. I would love to find another vessel fragment and two more mask shards. I really feel with another vessel fragment giving me one more uh, one more soul, soul energy box and... Uh, Another uh, one more hit box would really, uh, one more hit point would really help out. Bingo, Bolango. Oh, no, no.
Why does this... This looks familiar. I think we've been here already. Right, because now it's turning into the... Uh, now it's turning into the, ro the royal area again. Yeah, this is the royal area again. Okay, cool. And again, uh, something that I, I highly recommend that anybody that plays this game do, uh, don't do that. Down. Look down. <laughs> when you're playing this game, make sure you look down. I cannot emphasize that enough. The, the, they, they put it in the game for a reason. That mechanic of looking down is there for a reason. Because more often than not, you can stop yourself from dying. And you can save yourself from any type of monsters that might be below you. So highly recommended. They put it in for a reason, and they use it. Uh, that's why there are so many vertical levels in this uh, where you have to look down. Don't freak out. Oh, they're not spiders. You knew that? Good. Um, if I'm a little bit more quiet than normal, it's because we're in a new area and I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing it right now, so. And these guys are kind of a bit of a pain. I think I just took back everything I said about wanting to finish this quickly. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I do know that there is a three, I think it's a three hour achievement. There's an achievement for beating the game in less than three hours. I don't know anybody that would want to blow through this game in three hours because it's pretty awesome. And it's... I'm in the Royal Waterways. Okay, I'm in the wrong place again. You did it again. So how do we... Cornifer, where are you? Where are you, buddy? Corn! Corn dog! Corniconicus Romanicus! story how did we get here oh my gosh that's right we took that huge freaking leap we went through here and there's no way to go back the the other way i came through that was very silly of me bruno yeah that's rough That's real rough. Okay. We can fix this. Because we just have to go back up here. And um, go back to where we were before. Which is fine. Because it will give us the option of exploring the other path that we haven't gone through yet. Oh. One second. Let's do a little bit of hand drying. Uh, and like I said, I have a very large window next to me, so uh, I do spend a lot of time looking over my shoulder, looking outside to see who's looking in on me. Uh, the window is tinted, so it, you can only see out, but when you uh, when it's dark outside, or when, uh, when there's a light source from inside the house that is brighter than the light source on the outside, you can see inside. So it's not a full one-way mirror. Oh, sorry, it's not a full two-way mirror. One-way mirror. It's not a full one-way mirror, sorry. Alright, cool, we made it back. 
Alright, so... We know where the boss is. Have we been this way yet? Yeah, we've been this way. Alright, so this is Rancid Egg Dude. And guys, I've been having issues with chat, so if you're actually out there and you're listening and you're talking, because I see I am streaming, uh, just uh, bear with me. I am sorry. Uh, I do have the chat window open, but there are times when chat, unfortunately, doesn't, uh, doesn't update. I've noticed since they upgraded to the to the new beta, uh, to Twitch beta, I've been having issues with chat uh, getting kicked out and constantly being welcomed in repeatedly. So, um, which is what I see right now on my screen. I keep saying, uh, welcome to the chat room, welcome to the chat room. So I don't know if I'm getting disconnected or if the chat's just acting up. So if I don't answer, I apologize. I am here and I am listening. And if I do eventually see your message, I will respond to it. Uh, I do interact with chat. I do pay attention to chat. It is one of my, uh, it is one source of entertainment for me. And you guys are always great to talk to. Sorry, that's a habit. I really need to stop refilling my, my health if I'm not dead or if I haven't been hit. And we're gonna go back and beat Dungaroonies. We just need to, uh, I need to find the map maker. I need to stop fooling around and make the find the map maker. Cornifer, where are you? We're gonna send out a search party. A search party of one. Cornifer? You heard him? You hear him? I hear you. Speak. Where are you, friend? Speaking of which, we have uh, we have rescued three. Count them. We have rescued three other grubs. Oh, that's fresh water. Okay, so the, the way this works, for those of you that are wondering why I can jump in certain water and I can't jump in others, uh, there is poison swamp, and then there's regular water. Uh, so the Hollow Knight is a, able to jump in the regular water that cannot traverse the poison swamp. At least not yet, from what I'm assuming. Uh, from what I've read... Oh, there he is, there he is. Sweet. We got gotcha, you, buddy. There you are. So this is... You guys are going to see exactly what I mean right now. Because notice how we don't hear him. Oh, well, he's pretty far. Papers up here. Persistence, that's what I like. That is a persistent chaser. Ooh, nice. Ask and you shall receive. One more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Living the dream. Oh, there's a. Everybody has a price. <laughs> oh, we didn't pass him, so he is here. Nice. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, ho, ho. Aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those, those fungal wastes are closed, and I sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. I sure would love to purchase your map, Cornifer. Thank you. You, kind sir. Oh, my bad. And again, for those of you that want to know, yes, this rates up there uh, with my top favorite games. Be, uh, one, uh, number one being Castlevania Symphony of the Night and um, Dark Souls. So um, obviously this thing is nothing like Dark Souls, so I'm not comparing it to. I'm just saying this is, if you ask me what of you know, my favorite games, that this and Hollow Knight, Dark Souls, and Symphony of the Night are the three top of my favorite games. Yeah, we've already been over here, right? So we don't need to... Uh... Is that the Soul Master? Dash faster, dash further, dash forever. What happens if I hit Cornifer? Does anybody know? If you hit Cornifer with the, the dream now, what happens? And why does the dream now not kill them? To chart the world, what joy if only Zelda could share the thrill. Aw. That's so sad. It's sad and it's romantic at the same time. He wants to share his joy with his wife. Or I guess his partner, right? His spouse or his life mate, whatever she is. I'm not sure if bugs get married. Come on. What are you doing? Why do you do that? There we go. Oh yeah. Another rancid egg. I really hope I find a purpose for these things. Because right now I'm just collecting them for... For the hell of it, it looks like. Goodbye. Get up. Those things still wreck me every once in a while when I don't see them. Those, uh, those flying, those flying things wreck me. Okay, so this tells me that we didn't discover our little buddy. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, wall jumping in this game is much easier than wall jumping in Super Metroid. <laughs> so much easier. Oh, that looks like it should have been something, no? Right? This should have been like a mini boss room. Look at that. That would have been perfect for a mini boss room. Keep talking. Thank you. More. There it is. I found you. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of love in my life, so I get the, I get the joy out of this because it's nice to see somebody get excited when they see me. Oh, no, I know you love me, Rebus, but if you did that dance every time you saw me, I would come in and out of the house more just for the hell of it. Yeah, no, you gotta do the whole thing. You gotta wiggle your, your legs and everything. 
I know you're a cow, you can't stand up on two feet, I'm sorry. And you don't have two feet, you can't stand up on anything. One last time. <laughs> Alright, that's number four. I'm trying to think, were there any that we needed to go back and get? Have we missed any? I don't think so, right? I don't think so either. All right. Woo! Royal, Royal Waterways map. Ka-ching, ka-ching. All right. Where was... Where was the boss? Oh, we haven't gone that way yet. You see that drop right there? Get up! There you are. Boom! I gotta sit up, it's hurting my shoulders. Hurting my back. Is this cracked? No. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is I know I keep mentioning this about the headset. Uh, the he I have the headset fully expanded. So if you're looking at me, and uh, I know I've mentioned the headset before, if you have a smaller uh, head on the smaller size side. If you have a head on the smaller side, this uh, this headset works out pretty good. Uh, it does. Uh, like I said, I have I don't I I think my hat size is seven and an eighth. It's seven and an eighth. Yeah, my hat size is seven and one eighth. So um, and I've got the headset fully expanded. Let's see, it doesn't get any bigger. This is as far as it goes. So um, again, if you're if you have a large head, this hat isn't. Uh, this headset's not really gonna work for you. Oops, not paying attention. I feel like the suicide run is kind of weak, though. Like, I wish they would have had, like, a tendril attack or some some form of maybe, like, like an like a anteater type thing where the tongue comes out or something because they just kind of run at you, and it's pretty, pretty simple to counter. Even when there's multiple on the screen, they're not exactly difficult to counter. At least not as hard as some of the other enemies, so... Nice. Love killing grubs. Because we don't want them turning into giant you. Exterminate. Oh, I wish I could remember now what we were saying yesterday. Though we were making fun of the, uh... We're making fun of the Daleks, right? For those of you that watch Doctor Who, we all love the Daleks, right? And I was, uh... <laughs> one of the guys at work said something, and it was like exterminate, but it wasn't exterminate. And I started laughing, and we started saying it like the Daleks. Was it exfoliate? I think it was exfoliate. And we were like, exfoliate. Oh. Who are you, friend? Out of the animation faster. Quick 
great googly mugly. This seems to be the safe area. Alright, almost full. Come on. Just call me Fluke Laster Flex. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, that's weird. He actually wasn't that hard. He was pretty easy. I was scared. So I didn't get like any ability or nothing for beating the boss of this board? That was weird. What does the fluke nest do? Whoa, did you see he was swim- Oh no, he was caught in the swimming animation and I broke it. Damn. Hold on, let's see. Ah, uh, he was caught in the swimming the swimming animation, and I broke it. That was my fault. I'm sorry. I should have left him like that for a little bit. That was awesome. Okay, let's find out what do we have. What the? What is this? It's the grim. Oh, here it is. Fluke nest. Living charm born in the gut of a fluke womb. Fluke marm. Not worm, but a marm. Transforms the vengeful spirit spell into a horde of volatile baby flukes. Ooh, that actually might... That actually might be better. Because honestly, you guys have seen me now playing for 27 hours total, right, from all the episodes. You guys have seen me playing for 20 seconds. And how often do I really use the fluke nest ability? I mean, uh, the, the, uh, well, I guess I have used the soul charge ability more now, later in the game. Wait, is that one of them, or is that, no, that's all. That's an imposter. Ooh, speaking of which, we haven't found any more mimic. Uh, we haven't found any other mimic, um, Mimic uh, grubs, which has been kind of interesting. We've been through all this up here, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's go back to the bench. Whew. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Still a really cool boss. That was definitely... If that was a boss. I think that was a boss, right? That... Does anybody know? Was that a boss? Yeah, he's got his own home and he's got that huge thing. Yeah, he was a boss. Yeah, he was totally a boss. Okay, so... Oh, look, there's a tree thing over here. There's a whispering root that we've missed. We have to go activate that. Okay, so there's this whole side... Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm wiping my hands. So there's this whole side right here that we haven't done. Okay, so let's go over here and... Let's do that. Also, if if I counted correctly, which I believe I... Whoa! When did that get there? When did right shoulder start activating that? Quick cast... Wow. I don't ever remember that 
I don't ever remember even using... Ah, oh, holy cow. Nice. We've learned another new thing today. Great googly. It's a really nice day out. I keep looking outside because you guys can see it getting brighter and getting darker. Oh, and again, that was the other thing I wanted to point out really quick. Um, so as I said earlier, we're going for... Uh, I know, I gotta wipe my hands a lot, Rebus, I'm sorry. My hands, my feet, and my legs are all covered from all the sweat. But, um, the, uh, we're going to be getting a new camera. So you guys will actually be able to see me in high definition instead of, uh, 320 by 480. Which isn't even a megapixel. <laughs> You guys will actually be able to see me in HD, and we're getting, uh, I would like to get the C9, the Logitech C920, right? That's the one that we agreed on that we wanted to get. We were looking at a few different ones. We were looking at the, um, the first one that we were looking at is, uh, actually Atomic has already gotten this one. You guys will know my, uh, my streaming friend, Atomic, who we usually stream together or we'll do, or share each other's stream time and visit each other's channels. Um, and we roll together a lot. The, um... Uh, we roll through Destiny uh, mostly, but uh, we do do Player uh, Unknown Battlegrounds also, and we used to do Ghost Recon, but I stopped playing that game because that game is absolute garbage. So, um, but that's my own personal opinion on it. So the um, he's got the HD 3000, the Microsoft HD 3000, looks really good, really nice. I like it. Works for his setup. Mine, not so much. Um, I actually have two monitor heights. Um, I have two separate monitors, obviously, which is how I talk to you guys. And uh, the first monitor is set up to be about, um, like, it looks like about, eight, it looks like to about, about, it's about four inches taller than the other monitor as far as height-wise goes because of the way I sit down and the way my chair is. So the first thing we're going to be getting is the Logitech, and we're going to be getting the stand with it so that we'll be able to use the wide angle section of it and then you'll be able to capture both Rebus and I. I wanted to do a dual camera setup at one time but then I was starting to think about it and I was like it might actually be better just getting the Logitech C920 because it's got a wide angle lens and it allows me to do the background filtering automatically and I can do it without um, without having to get a second camera so that Rebus and I can both be on screen together. Uh, so that's what we're looking at doing. Uh, we're going to be getting the Logitech C920. Um, obviously excellent reviews everybody knows about this camera it's an amazing camera I know it's like a hundred dollar camera but uh, we're hoping uh, it's down to fifty dollars right now on Amazon we're hoping it uh, goes a little bit lower coming tomorrow uh, not tomorrow that's not uh, Cyber Monday so hopefully on Cyber Monday it's down a little bit more because I would like to purchase that and the stand with it and let's face it that camera's already been out for a couple years so definitely can do for another part uh, it's definitely do for another part uh, it's definitely do for another price drop what are you thinking we should explore the rest of that area right we should do that that thing where we shot across the map again totally that's pretty fantastic groovy And again, guys, I can't say this enough. No complaints about this game. Uh, I, ne I never... Uh, don't ever get the feeling of something being cheap. Uh, I do sometimes not agree with maybe the timing of certain things. But I don't ever feel like I've ever... In any of the sections, any of the boss battles, any of the game, any of the map, I've never felt like the game used any type of cheat or cheap, uh, cheap means to keep me out of certain areas. Uh, really well designed levels, color schemes, unbelievable. The music and the atmosphere that the music and the tone that the music sets is awesome. I think I want to. I think I want to go after the boss again. Zot, I can't see where you are, Zot. You have to tell me where you are. I'm t I guarantee that's. I, I can almost guarantee you that's him. You don't make any see like you don't make any noise there. The 
That means you're in the ground in between this layer? I'll come back for you, Zote. I promise. So I guess there's two bosses in this area? Right? Because this guy's a boss coming up over here. Okay, cool. So I can walk past. So as long as I... Got that first shot in early. Good, I can reflect them. Did I read his name right? He's a dung beetle? He's a dung beetle, right? So, we're in the dung pile, is that what you're telling me? Get away from him, he's gonna blow. power cord there too at the end. That was hot. Oh guys, I'm really sorry, but this was a weak boss battle. <laughs> this was a really weak boss battle. Very, very easy pattern. Very, very easy to reflect the uh, the dung balls back. Um, this one was kind of weak. Uh, the fluke worm was, more, was harder than this one, and I didn't really get down in health very much. Still fun though, nonetheless, but kind of a weak boss battle. We just drained something. Yeah, that thing filled up, which means that we just drained something. Oh nice, and we connected the City of Tears. That's cool. Um, oh wow, look. And that is also now light green. Oh wow. I wonder where that goes. Hmm. Does he say brother? kind of sad. You were, uh, you were fun, but you were kind of a weak boss battle, buddy. So, uh, for those of you that are following, you, we should definitely be over 25 charms now. Yeah, good. We're over 24 charms now. 25 charms now. We can go get the other one. Unique charm bestowed by the King of Hollowness to his most loyal knight. Scratched and dirty, but still cared for. Causes the bearer to emit a heroic odor. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Let's, uh... Let's get back to the save point, and then we're going to continue. So we're going to continue now. We're going to explore the rest of the area.
we're just uh there we go we were just hauling back to the uh the save point so that we can save it it's a shame we don't have a carriage location okay so then okay let's do the big map so that i can use the arrows and point out and tell you guys where we're going okay so we are here right bottom arrow we're looking at the bottom arrow we're here we're gonna move on over to this section right here right underneath king station i want to explore this next that's the next sector i believe yeah that's the only unexplored territory that i have so we're gonna do that next okay You're awfully quiet today, Rebus. Is it because you're still full and tired from all the food we've been eating? No, you're just tired. Makes sense. Rebus likes to party and stay up late. She's a party cow. With Rebus around, the fun just don't stop. We can go up and over, or we can go down and over. Okay, we cannot go down and over. We can only go up and over. <laughs> Got it. Ah, but we can go this way now. That's what we drained. So that beating that boss was what drained this section. I don't know if that would have been an insta-kill, but that would have definitely probably drained at least four bars out of my health, because I think those guys take two every time they hit me. Hello, brother. I don't know if he's actually saying that, but I really believe he's saying, hello, brother. That double jump is a lifesaver. Oh, right. No map. Can't tell where I'm going. Nope. Can't go that way. Thing, a little bit of a Is that all you got? I'm getting super cocky. Watch. I'm getting my ass handed to me in a minute. <laughs> I gotta admit, I did beat two bosses today, so that makes me a little bit... <laughs> that makes me a little bit cocky. Because <laughs> normally this game is handing me my ass, so... <laughs> I have to admit. I am a little bit excited. Acid shall be repelled. Swim in acidic waters without coming to any harm. Thank you. Okay, no, nothing. 
Let's see it. Ah. Oh, it gives me a little bubble. <laughs> you actually get a repel bubble. Look at that. You see it? Again, guys, attention to detail in this game is just just superb, just unbelievable. Instead of being lazy and just, you know, ignoring that and just being like, yeah, you're immune to acid, whatever. They actually drew in the bubble showing you repelling the actual... Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Please, please. The developers of this game have to make another something. Something else. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. You go home to Grandpa. We'll find you later. Catch you later, Chuckles. Fear not. And let the feast begin. <gasps> yeah, I have been in Dark Souls 3 a lot, so... <laughs> they, uh, it creeps into my mind. I've already been up here, right? Yeah, let's go back the other way. Was there anything underneath? Oh man, excuse me. I don't want to yawn. I don't want to... Ugh, too bad. Sorry. They make the greatest sound. Whoever was in charge of sound effects in this game is awesome. And whoever it was whoever came up with the sound effect for the grub is my hero. <laughs> the grubs make the best sound ever. Oh, I can kill monsters now by just hanging out in the water. Come on, buddy. What's up, dude? Oh, and they activate each other. Did not know that. What's up, bro? Come on down. Oh, uh, but they don't commit suicide. So they won't come after you. Which, for those of you that have been playing and watching with me, you will, you know, you, you guys know, most of us know that there are bugs that will commit suicide. Like, they, once aggroed, they will not stop until they come after you and they kill you, so... Not all bugs will commit suicide upon aggro. So that's a good thing to know. Crazy. Damn it. That was not what I was going to do. There's a, there's a thing down here I want to get. Yeah, he's over here. All right, let's do it. And again, guys, I'm colorblind, so please help. If you see one of those things and I don't see it, let me know. Because obviously I'm busy dodging or maybe just running into spikes on purpose, I guess. I don't know. Fun times. Whoa, what? Come on, man. Dude, seriously, I'm really getting pissed. You've got to be... What was that? Like a super jump. Was there one over here? Right, because that would be awesome if they put one over there.
Come here, buddy. I could use some more soul. Thank you. Oh, and we have 500. Guess what we can also do, kids? That's right. We can go talk to the dream lady. I'm actually hoping I can get all of them. I hope I don't suck that bad. Yeah, right. After all that smack, I just talked about killing two bosses and feeling awesome. I, and then I die here on a simple puzzle. <laughs> that's classic Bruno, in case you didn't know. That's that's what we call classic Bruno. Did we miss any? I didn't hear the sound. That means it's not done. And there, you see the things are still up? And we left the area. That means I think I reset it. Yup, gotta redo it now. Oh, okay, forget it. If we're gonna redo it, then we need to reheal. Sorry, guys. I gotta redo that one, and I messed it up. So now I need to go back over here and get more soul juice. Right. Of course you would. And you're the thing that kills me? You, sir, are a racist. He's races against small, tiny bugs with big nails. Because his nail's not bigger than mine. Proportion-wise, I mean. I mean, his nail's humongous, but proportionately, my nail's bigger than his. great <laughs> I have to admit I was getting a little bit bored and uh, one of like I said one of the reasons of why I wanted to start the uh, the speed running for Super Metroid which I am going to continue doing because that was actually pretty addicting and being able to pull off that one trick was really really satisfying so <laughs> I can totally see the addiction of this game of the of speed running Super Metroid because the the satisfaction you get of pulling off something and that was just a simple one-step trick I can't I can't wait till I actually start doing like quick kills on bosses and everything. So like, totally gonna continue with the speed running. Trust me, that's that was fun. And hey, what's going on, Poplars? Thank you, thank you for the luck. It's always needed. And good morning to you. I hope uh, I hope your Saturday has found you well. You missed it. We just beat two bosses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. It, it was fun. Um, I just, I need to put in some more hours and practice off screen a little bit so that I can learn the routes more. Uh, for those of you that uh, are just joining us or haven't been watching, yes, yes, that when I, when you, when, and and it was so much the, the 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 taste of victory was so much sweeter because you guys were watching. So I had people that actually saw me do it, and it wasn't like I wasn't just saying, oh, I did it. You guys actually saw me do it, which was what made it that much sweeter. And having you guys there cheering me on was was awesome. Yeah, no, that's why I love watching it. Like that's that that feeling. Like I can see it in your face. Like every time you get a new PB and everything, I'm like I'm like the feeling of satisfaction I see in your guys' faces and the excitement is awesome. And I really like and I want to share in that feeling. <sighs> nice, I made it. I stopped in time. But I can't figure out. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever going to get as good as you guys, but I definitely want to at least like complete the game once and learn a lot of the tricks. Um, I was saying earlier in the stream that tomorrow, I'm, I just want to, uh, and I don't know if you're going to be able to watch tomorrow, but tomorrow I just want to run the first leg of when I get power bombs. And then reset, start over, and just get c comfortable with that. It's golden. My power bomb split are getting an amazing second round fantoon. Yeah, no, I know you love that. <laughs> the fantoon is a big one for you. <laughs> and you know, I, I was watching. I was watching. I wanted to ask Meta Dog, but I couldn't because he got through it pretty quickly. Um, fantoon is the to, the the thing with killing fantoon seems to be more RNG, right? Like if you get the right pattern early, it's easier for for killing him than in certain patterns. 
And I'm sorry, guys, we are going to change some of the topic now. We're going to run over to the... Because I, I like talking to Poplars about Super Metroid, so we are going to change a little bit of the topic. Because I have a lot of questions still, and I've watched a lot of it, and I need to learn more. Quicker, not easy, not necessarily easier. Okay. But there is definitely, when he starts off, it's it's to the left, right? When he starts off and he comes to the left, that's the the faster pattern you can get him with. Holy cow, he does four damage? How come nobody said this? When the hell did you get an upgrade? Hold on, I, have, I can't be here with him. So the monsters get an upgrade too. He just hit me for four. He's that that guy is never he used to hit for two. But I still need to refill my soul meter. Has six patterns based on the frame you enter the room. Wow. Well, I had no idea that he had six. I thought he only had two. I only thought he had one. Hey, look, you're getting love in the stream. All right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Nobody really wants to hear you that much. Reva says hi. She misses you. It's good to see you. Then I wow, so you have fast left, left mid, left slow, right fast, right mid, right slow. <laughs> nice. I honestly thought he had two entrances, left or right. I had no idea that there was actually and there's a speed also that he does it to. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to get our to our first Fantoon battle and get my ass handed to me. Also, we learned also today that a new button, do, another button does something. Uh, top right shoulder <laughs> activates my, my quick spell. I had no idea that there was a quick spell button. Speed is about when he opens his eye. I'm not going to lie. He has an eye. Uh, uh, the thing in, oh, the thing in the middle is his eye. Okay. Right? Seriously. Nobody told me about this button? Why did nobody say anything about this button? What? I've been sitting here char charging this thing up and using it with the B button this entire time, and it's a pain. So much better with the sh with the quick shoot. I was like, wow. And then I looked up in the control scheme, and I saw it in the control scheme, and I was like, look at that. It's been there the whole time. Um, so we were, uh, we're, we're trying to get this... Uh, this Whispering Root, we're trying to complete this Whispering Root so we can go back to the Shaman Lady and she can give us our upgrade, whatever it is. But uh, we need to uh, we need to refill our Soul Meter because uh, the pits, uh, the, the the spike traps kill me really easily. Uh, obviously, for my bad my bad platforming skills. You know, it's funny now that you're since you're here. I was actually thinking, you know, it'd be really fun is to see if I could still beat Kid Icarus. Do you, do you remember Kid Icarus uh, from the Nintendo? Does anybody remember Kid Icarus from the Nintendo, or is it just me? I um, I really enjoy that game, and I'm really good at that game. And I'm fairly certain that I, even though I haven't played it in years, I probably can still beat it. Um, at the very least, I do remember the first boss, uh, the first map. Which X Factor method you use if you don't Doppler? Which pattern you? Right, and I don't know what Doppler. I don't know what Doppler is. Explain to me like I'm five. You never played Kid Icarus? Whew. Oh, guys, we, we we might have to run a special stream tonight and uh, just uh, stream tonight and stream Kid Icarus for everybody. So that might that that that's probably gonna happen. Doppler is just the missile kill. Oh, okay, that's just mi okay. Why is it why is it called Doppler? Excuse my ignorance.
Oh. So, for those of you that have been paying attention... Um, if you've already collected a soul juice, a soul memory fragment, uh, it doesn't, uh, they don't respawn, so you only have to get them once. So even if you die after activating the sword, uh, after activating the tree, you only have to get it once. Nice. I like that. That's good. And I think we're above it, aren't we? We went too far up. I have no idea. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think, why would they call it Doppler? I mean, you guys, I mean, we all know what the Doppler effect is, right? It's when a sound gets louder as it gets closer and then gets, you know, softer as it gets farther away. That's the Doppler effect. So I wonder why they call Dop a missile, just regularly killing a boss with missiles, a Doppler. Oh, we got something to look, we have something to look up this afternoon when I'm grocery shopping. Boom! Let's go look at our newly grown tree, kids! Yeah! Look at that thing! Uh, man, I wish I wish growing plants and trees was this easy. <laughs> that I would I would be the most ama I would I'd farm everything. The proper X Factor method takes a lot of guesswork. Takes takes a lot. Of, I'm, I'm assuming takes takes a lot of. I'm assuming you you mean takes a lot of the guesswork out of landing the X Factor. But I came up with a method that requires you to know no patterns, and have the timing all down. Nice. So you made up your own method. That's fantastic. And again, for those of you guys who are watching, Poplars is an excellent speedrunner for for Metroid. She does a wonderful job. Um, not only does she explain when she's playing, but she also really pays attention to chat. So uh, she's uh, she's really good. You should check her channel out. Definitely give her a follow. Uh, I give her a plug all the time. Poplars, you're uh, you're one of my favorite speedrunners and one of my favorite streamers to watch. Uh, so and I sub to her channel. So highly recommend you guys go follow her and sub her channel. She does a lot of good stuff. Yeah, you, uh, you also do Earthbound every once in a while, right? Did you ever play? Have you ever? Well, did you ever play Terraria? I don't know. Do you PC game at all? This is amazing. Uh, Poplars and I have been friends for years, but I, don't, I didn't actually know that she played video games until recently. It was almost like she was keeping the secret from me. She was keeping the secret from you too, right? Yeah, none of us knew. Yeah, sometimes Earthbound, I know. Do you play any PC games at all? Like, have you ever played Terraria? Ah, that's so sad. Terraria is so much fun. If anybody out there plays Terraria and anybody has a personal server, you can definitely message me on uh, on Steam or on uh, on on the Blizzard app. My name is always the same across all platforms, so you can find me, Sangre de Vida. It's not hard. Uh, I definitely love playing uh, Terraria. That one's really fun, but I normally play that one by myself. I do have my own small server that a couple friends play on it, but I'm looking for other people to expand the game with. Oh, that's really sad, because it's really good, Poplars. It's really, really good, I'm telling you. And it's 2D. It's side-scrolling, just like we like. I'm not sure if, it, if you're just like a big fan of the genre of 2D side-scrollers, but I'm a total fan of like this kind of gaming. So like Terraria is really up my alley. It is Minecraft Lite. It does have basic RPG elements. I always, th I, 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 I never really thought about it. I got called a lot of geeky names too, so I never really thought why you were called Dungeon Master. It never, never, never dawned upon me. Oh yeah, and that is a Spider-Man mug, if that's what you're wondering. And it's my, it's, it's also, it's my, it's the, it's my favorite. It's, um, can you guys see that? Did I do this right? The Amazing Spider-Man. That cartoon, my favorite. The Amazing Spider-Man was my favorite cartoon. <coughs> is, sorry. Even though I don't think they make it anymore. Is my favorite cartoon still. I've tried watching some of the newer ones, and I don't, I don't really like the newer ones. But the animation in this one was fun, and it was really good. And the Peter Parker was very sarcastic, which is what made it more. I mean, because let's face it, Spider-Man is what? Spider-Man's a teenager, right? So he needs to be sarcastic, ballsy, uh, aggressive, doesn't really think things through, and just kind of jumps in head first, right? 
hot-headed teenager. So, The Amazing Spider-Man, right on point. Speaking of Dungeon Master, I need to uh, I need to find a D and D group down in South Florida that plays uh, Dungeons and Dragons either 3.5 or that plays Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 2.0. Based off other runners' methods, Kips, and I figured out the timing for mine based off the left slow pattern from the proper method. I do know that yes. So, I, oh nice. Do you, you play 3 3.5 or do you play the new one? I don't really care too much for the new one. I feel like they made the new one too. Uh, they made the new one too much like GURPS. I don't like it. I have a, I have an entire, and I'm not going to pull them out because if we start talking about this, the stream is going to end. Uh, I have an entire uh, two shelves dedicated to 3.5 edition books. I have all of the, the, the meta material downloaded from their website. Before the website changed, I downloaded all of Wizards' uh, website and everything. So I have their old website, and I have all of their old manuals and stuff that they had uploaded. Yeah, no, it's complete. Yeah, it's D and D's really fun. You know, and I, uh, you'll find me often. A lot of times when I'm uh, invisible or when I'm just like I'm away, you guys will notice if you follow me, you'll find me in the D and D rooms. Uh, I like watching the D and D guys play online. So you will find me all over the uh, the rooms in those games. I uh, I definitely like watching them play. You need to play more. You definitely need to play more. You know, the other thing is that, and I know people are like, oh, just go down to the, go down to the local comic book store. And I'm like, you know, it's a little different for me. I'm not, a lot of the people you find at the local comic book store are not really that young or not really that old. And it's kind of, and I just feel awkward and weird being, you know, almost 40 years old and be like, hey buddy, want to play some D&D &D together? Let's go get a couple dudes and get together in a group in a dark room in a basement somewhere. Yeah. That makes me feel like Hubert from, uh, from Family Guy. Hi, kids. Want to come in my basement? I've got some popsicles. Yeah, see? <laughs> right? It makes it, It's uncomfortable. I totally agree. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Chris, you got a strong arm. Mm. I loved, I loved when Hubert used to call him strong arm. Hi, strong arm. Mm. You got my paper for me? Mm, bringing me some good news? Mm. <laughs> Hubert, Hubert is one of the funniest characters on Family Guy. All right, so we found Isthmus Grove. What do you, what do you guys think? Should we, can we go back? Let's go back to town. Um, first off, I want to talk to Uncle Grubster. Uh, Uncle Grubbing Daddy, uh, or whatever else do we want to call him? Grubs and stuffs. Oh, no! That was not, that was not water. That was definitely not water. <laughs> I'm glad you like my, I'm glad you like my Hubert impression. Uh, <laughs> nice. Is it? Do you, it's a, did you upload it? Do you have a YouTube channel? Did you upload it to? Do you have? And well, I guess that's a two-part question, right? Do you have a YouTube channel? And did you upload it so that the rest of us can look at it? No. Yeah. No. That's totally something to be proud of. Also, like, I mean, anytime you come up with a strategy or anytime you come up with something on your own, absolutely get credit for it. You should probably use it. I export all my videos and all my past playthroughs to my YouTube channel. It's, it's a it, one. It's a good way to be able to track all your history and everything. Oh, nice. I don't use I don't use my I don't use my clips section enough. I should probably start using my clip section more, but I definitely don't use my clips uh, section enough. What do we think? Is it faster? Um, again, kind of, I track metrics through Twitter. Uh, if I understand metrics right, uh, you track like video, like video watch, like the, the times it's been watched and 
and the popularity of it is that what you what is that what that is that what metrics means right statistics okay yeah good yeah yeah that's what i figured i track them on both i track through uh i track through twitch and i track obviously the ones on youtube Believe it or not, my YouTube channel actually does get a few views. Like, I do have quite a few views on all my different videos. Uh, I am pretty happy with it. I don't obviously have thousands or hundreds. But for a small YouTube channel that I have, I have a, I have a few subscribers, and I have, a, I, have a, I have a lot of people that do come and view my runs. Um, and I know it's probably most of you guys that watch me on a regular basis whenever you guys miss me and stuff like that. I know I have a few guys that constantly pop in. Uh, so I really appreciate you when you guys go. Nice. That's awesome. 13,000 views. That's crazy. I can I can fill in the blanks. Don't worry. You don't have to correct your spelling in here. I think we're all able to do that. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Um Atomic and I have a video that I think finally eclipsed 100 views and it's uh it's an unboxing of a brand new Origin laptop. But that's it. And we we freaked out over 100 views and you got 13,000. That's fantastic. See, if you up so if you upload that 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 video that you made for Fantoon, your tutorial. It's the Zed's Ledger Quest for Witcher 3. I haven't played Witcher 3. I'm not asking, don't ruin it or anything, but I haven't played Witcher 3 yet. So I, I, I do request, like, let's not talk too much about Witcher 3 because I have it and I want to play it and I want to do it blind. I also have Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 that I need to do blind as well. So we can talk a little bit about them and I don't mind. Just uh, let's not do too many spoilers or anything for me because I do have The Witcher 3 and I want to play through it. I have The Witcher 1, 2, and 3 and I still have the original. I actually have The Witcher on disc. I have The Witcher on disc before everybody got crazy about The Witcher. I have The Witcher before The Witcher Enhanced Edition came out. I knew about pro uh, the, the project guys before like everybody else did. I, those developers, when I saw them and the, what they did with The Witcher, I loved. I fell in love with them, and that's I've been supporting them since they've come out. That that developing team, they're all, and they're a Polish development team too, and they're awesome, fantastic guys. That first game, the first time I played Witcher, it blew my. It was like Dark Souls to me. A whole new combat system. The whole entire game was just fantastic. So that's another good developer. Uh, the, their project, what are they? I think they're called Project CD or something. But it's definitely a Polish developer, and they're fantastic. So have you beaten you? So I'm assuming you've beaten Witcher three. You've never played any of them other than three. Two, uh, if you've played three and you go back to playing one, you're it, it's it's a step backwards, big time. So don't don't expect what you have in three to be like in one. But it's it is an open world. It is really good, um, and like, and I'm, I'm sure I don't have, like I said, I haven't really experienced too much of three yet because I'm trying to keep a, a, as much of a blind eye on it as possible. But there's definitely a lot of swearing. It's a lot of adult language. It's wonderful. It's really the world feels alive and vivid. Um, definitely potion mixing's big. Uh, you have to drink potions. Uh, the Witcher th one, the very first one, is all about. Which I haven't been. Oh, you haven't beaten. Oh, okay. Really? You didn't like it too? Oh, I, I, I love it. I think Geralt's amazing. It, it, Anti-heroes are my favorite. I love guys that don't want to be heroes. I love guys that want to be bad people but can't. Um, that's my favorite. Anti-heroes are my favorite. That's the best kind of hero. I understood what you meant. You weren't a big fan of The Witcher 3. I got it, because you said already that that was the only game that you haven't played. That's the only game you've played. I understood you. Um, I'm shrinking again. Guys, posture. Help out here. All right. If you see me shrinking, say something. You too. Speak up. Posture. I don't want to be 60 and have like a hunch in my back. Um, so yeah, no, I understood you meant The Witcher 3. But again, uh, really good story. Really good everything. But if you're not really too crazy about the third one, I don't recommend the first one. Because the first one's a lot of step backwards. It's a big step backwards. Two made a lot of improvements that one didn't have. Uh, and then even The Witcher 1 has a lot... Uh, the, I'm used to people not understanding what I say. <laughs> I understand you. We've been uh we've been around for a long time. We've <laughs> we've been we've been friends forever, so I'm pretty sure I understand you. If I don't, I'll just straight up tell you. Alright, so we're gonna go back to town. Which means I need to get to the palace grounds so that we can so that we can fast travel back to town. We're gonna go visit Grubmaster. Right, because we want to see what he gives us, and we're gonna go pick up our next, uh, our next, um, 
our next charm upgrade because now we have 20 something charms so we can pick up our next charm upgrade which is exciting and I am going to use the new charm that we just got so that's even more exciting you uh, you've always been here Oh yeah, that's right. That's the pool that I can drop all my geo in if I don't if I want to be poor. Oh nice, nice. Well, have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. It's always nice to see you. Say goodbye, Revis. No, don't say bye, Revis. Say goodbye to Poplars. She's such a comedian. I was like, say goodbye, Revis. She's like, bye, Revis. And I'm like, that's not what you're supposed to say. Have a good day. Send uh, send me a picture once uh once you're done with the uh with the sleeve once he's done with the work send me the picture so I can see. And let me know if you're gonna go on tonight. Oh look, Christmas bear says bye. Reva said bye, Christmas bear. Are you gonna be on tonight? Yeah yeah definitely send the before and after. Are you going to be on tonight so we can watch? Oh, I bet you you wake up after I upgrade the dream nail again. That's why you haven't woken up. Definitely send me the before and after and uh, also tell me if you're going to stream tonight. Yeah, no, I can definitely understand that. And not to mention, if, if it's on your arm, right? So I can just imagine not wanting to, to move around very much. Because I know when I've gotten both of my tattoos, I typically try not to move my arm around a lot. Take me home tonight. And it's a five-hour appointment? Is today a five-hour ordeal also? I don't remember how long this one took. This one took... I want to say this one took... This one took like three hours? I want to say three, maybe... Maybe four? I think it was four hours that one took. And that's not even a sleeve. That's just my shoulder. But I do know that they do take time, especially when they're obviously they're really good at their job. They also need to take time because they're doing a really good job. I don't know what all the icons mean either. Arcala, Imperno. I think this guy's still out of stuff, right? Yeah, he's Sly is gonna. I think I think Sly is done. I don't think Sly is gonna have anything ever again. Um, this is the path down back to the tunnel, and this it this is conifers. Oh, I didn't I didn't brain her yet. I'm glad I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Corny makes me a lot happier. It would be nice to stretch my legs again, though, sometime soon. Look at that. Like, so for those of you that are watching, Cornifer just finished saying he wishes his wife would share the adventure with him. And here she is, exactly, instead of speaking her mind. I'm glad I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Corny makes me a lot happier. It would be nice to stretch my legs again, though. See? She should be traveling with him. She should be traveling the dungeons with him, especially if she can carry a nail. They should be together adventuring as a duo. They would be so much more dangerous. To descend into that ruin? Why? Things are so much simpler up here. You know what this means? We're gonna go wake up, uh... We're gonna go wake up Grubblinless. Bam! White Wanderer, don't be shy. Cold outside, bed is soft. Ah, uh, we've already seen all this. 
And I don't think her room hasn't changed. No, her room hasn't changed. This is wonderful. Oh, that's right. I forgot. This is infected area now. Seriously. So again, we still have no clue what the infection is and why it's taking over so strongly. Uh, I wonder if the infection has to do with me, right? Because um, I have been, I've been screwing around. What's up, buddy? What's up, dude? Yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it all. Yes. I've rescued four, four, five, six of your children. Can you imagine if this is what happened every time you walked into a room, people just like threw money at you and got super excited? Well, yes, Rebus, whenever you walk into a room, this is exactly what everybody does, but that's because you're adorable. And from the looks of it, we still have a long way to go. Uh, I'm counting at least three, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. I'm counting at least 13 empty holes, right? Three. No, there's two. One, two, three, four. All right, so there's four. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh wait, no, I was right. I did. I did count right. There are three. Yeah, I'm counting 13. I'm counting 13, 11 space. 13. Oh, there's one in the background right there. Boop. 14. There are 14 more grubs, as far as I can tell. From what it appears to me, there are 14 grubs left to find. Can someone, like, record this and make a song out of it? If you record this and make a song out of it, I will put you on the beginning of my stream every single day that I stream. I will play your song at the beginning of my stream every day. All right, cool. So next is the the area next to the resting grounds. We want to. Uh, we're just gonna. We're you know what? We're just gonna run over there because let's face it, it's faster if I just. I mean, I can do the fast travel thing, but we might as well run over there. Infection runs deep. actually kind of sucks because we're starting to think about wrapping this up soon no don't kill me i need to start thinking about wrapping this up soon because it's almost time for me to end the stream uh, i've got hungry mouths to feed it's almost lunchtime Okay, so now we know that that's the end of that. Oops. It's crazy, you can hear the heart beating. I really want to know what's inside that. 
totally hear the heartbeat. Forgot about you, good sir. Completely forgot about you. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Booyah! Give it to me. Thirteen more charms and we can get her blessing. Let's go sit down and find out. Because I believe, if I counted right, I think thirteen charms is actually literally all we have left to collect. One, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, exactly. So she wants me to collect every charm, and then she'll give me her blessing. Okay, so that's we'll definitely work to get all the charms to get the, to get the blessing. Uh, so what do we think? We got Wayward. We got the compass. We need the compass. I like the, the Gathering Swarm. I like it because of the way it collects Geo for me. The Sprint Master, we could probably do without. Grub Song. Contains the gratitude of gr yes, definitely, and the mark of pride is definitely necessary. But it does hold three. What if we do long nail instead? Let's do defender's crest, fluke. And long now. I wonder what the odor that I give off does. Oh, it hurts him. Watch. What do we think? Do we think that's actually worth it, though? I don't know if that's worth a slot. Oh, we didn't even do this one yet. Hold on. There was an item in here, wasn't there? This one's this one's very similar to the spore nest one. Yeah, I don't like that one. Uh, we're going back to our soul. I don't like the fluke nest one. Let's do Mark of Pride and let's do Heavy Steady Body. Yeah, that works. So now we, we give off an odor when we heal, we have a longer nail. And then we give off an odor when we're standing around. Now, let's do a... S Shall we do steady body? I can't tell if we should do steady body. Sorry, I'll check my messages in a minute. What do we think? Steady body? Or should we do... Uh, should we give off a pungent odor? Or thorns of agony? 
Defender's Crest. Steady Body or Defender's Crest. Okay, I want to do Steady Body. Strictly for me speaking, um, the reason I want to do Steady Body is because you guys have already witnessed, I fall down a lot off of platforms. I'm a big, I love a, a quick swing. So we're going to do that just strictly for the fact that I have a tendency to fall off platforms. Okay, cool. Alright, so we need to now go back to... Uh, we need to go back to Soul Lady, right? We need to go back to... Uh, my nail's still not long enough, though, to outreach his blast. I was kind of hoping... I actually might actually re redo this and get... And combine... Because remember, I told you guys, if you combine long nail and you combine uh, Mark of Pride, you get a really long... <laughs> You're my radio. Nice! <laughs> glad, glad to hear it, Poplars. <laughs> thank, thank you for listening to Song de la Vida Radio. Coming at you live. So, um... If you combine Long Nail and Mark of Pride, you get a nice, good extension on your reach. So, uh, I think we might do that. On the next Soul Charm upgrade that we get, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna use, we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna use that combo. I think that combo will work a lot better. Does, um, so, is it safe to say that am I cut off? I, I'm cut off, right? I am cut off. I'm cut off from my shortcuts. So, this, um, this inf this infection is actually cutting me off from the rest of the map areas. But the resting grounds is right here. Still oh the resting grounds is oh yeah, she's okay, forget it. We're going to the resting grounds. Let's go. So yeah, so next soul charm upgrade, we're going to do a uh we're going to do Long Nail and uh, Mark of Pride, because that that extension is great. That's perfect. That'll give you just the... That, that should give us enough reach to be able to kill the exploding uh, flyers and to be able to kill these guys that suicide run at me without getting hit, as long as I reach them at the maximum distance. Keep going. Did I... Oh, the pathway's up, huh? I gotta jump up on the wall. We can do that. Shortcut! I need to get a... I need to... Yes, I saw. Thank you. I'm gonna look at it afterwards. I almost stopped in the middle of the stream to start looking. I need to get a I need to get a sound so that every time we find a shortcut, I can activate it. Yeah, see the the steady body helps out a lot because now when I jump, I don't get knocked back, which is a big a big bonus. Oh, that's right. It doesn't even matter anymore. I can swim across this. I completely and totally forgot. I can just swim across that because I have, uh, I now have the ability to swim across these things. I don't have to worry about being, uh, being killed by any swamps or anything. I love it. I love it. This game has opened up so nicely. Um, oh, I remember how I beat these guys so much faster last time. That's right. I forgot that I was using the uh, the overhead tactic. I was jumping over. I was hitting him. Strike. I was uh, strike. Jump over. Strike. Jump over. I wonder if those. Is that a is that a block? Do I not have access this way? Oof, 
I didn't have a choice. I had to like walk into that face first. That was rough. There we go. It's right here. Boom. And is this my bench? No, we're not at the bench yet. So we're going to go to the bench, we're going to save it, and then after the save, we're going to go talk to the lady, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Because um, like I said, we do have to we do have to stop at uh, 11.30 and go eat. And it's a little bit after, so... Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at that dream now. Ah, 500 essence. You're a master in the making. Well done, well done. I have a small reward for you. Plucked from one of my most precious memories, this charm will bring you and the dream nail closer together still. The secrets of this, ki the secrets of this kingdom won't be able to hide from you any longer. Take it and return once you've collected 700 essence. More gifts await you. Uh -huh. The dream wielder. Ah, you've learned a lot about wielding the dream now, haven't you? Return to me once you've collected it. All right. I'm really curious as, as to, like... I, uh, I think the sinning thing that they that I keep running across the guy at the very beginning of the game that says he yeah, I have no sins to I have no sins to be uh, to be forgiven I really think it's because the transgressions that you can commit are here because she clearly states the bugs within this glade are under my watch treat them with respect and you may remain but raise your nail and you be con and you will contend with me and we obviously know that the way to activate these spirits is through the dream nail speaking of which let's see what the dream nail does now no, no new animation. Okay, let's see what the new uh, charm is she gave us. Beautiful. Where are you? Look at that. That's pretty. Dream Wielder. Transient charm created for those who wield the dream nail and collect essence. Allows the bearer to change the dream nail, to charge the dream nail faster and collect more soul when striking foes. Ooh. Oh, that's much nicer. I could do that. I like it. That works. I like it a lot. And we're now one closer. We are now one closer to the, uh, to the mastery that she's going to give us. Okay, so let's do our normal thing. Uh, let's read off our new guys that we fought. All right, so we, we opened up the second entry for Lance Sentry. Lance Sentry, a uh, winged sentry of hollow nest equipped with a nail lance, charges at threats or throws its lance from a distance, which we already read before. And now the act of the opened entry is, this devious foe will often keep its distance and try to pick you off with its thrown weapons. When it charges at you, leap up and strike down. And here's a totally new enemy. Pill Flip. Odd creature that adapts to changing situations by flipping over and using the limbs on the other side of its body. Adaptability is an important survival skill. If a problem seems insurmountable, try approaching it from a different angle. Whump. Tiny and placid, but swells to enormous size when threatened. Extremely, ama amu extremely amusing creature. Uh, we gotta defeat one more. We gotta defeat one more blood sack. There he is, Dung Defender. So here's the boss that we beat today. One of them, skilled combatant, living at the heart of the waterways. Assails intruders with balls of compact dung. Compacted dung. Which is exactly what I was saying earlier, and I was like, wait a minute, he's throwing shit at me. <laughs> fighting for honor or for loyalty, you may as well be fighting for dust. If you want to kill, do it for your own sake. That is the nature of a true hunter. Flukefe. Flukefe. It's either I think it's I think it's Flukefe. Youngest of its species, its body is composed of teeth, wings, and stomach. I actually really dig your stream, by the way. We need pump your numbers up. Ah, oh, thank you, Poplars. I appreciate that. <laughs> I dig yours too. Uh, let's see. Seems to want to latch onto anything that comes by with its sharp little teeth. It will leave its cousins alone, though, so it isn't completely mindless. Oh, nice. So it's not just a mindless eater. It actually does dis differentiate between friend and foe. Flukmon, which is an upgraded version of the Fluke Fey, 
Uh, worm-like creature that prefers damp, dark habitats. Uh, we need to kill three more of them. Uh, then here's Flukmarn. Here's the other boss that we beat today. Uh, an insatiable breeder has populated the waterways with its kind. It ins its insides double as a nest for young fluke phase. The desire to breed, to leave behind a memory of ourselves in the shape of a child that seems to be etched deep into the heart of every living creature. I too have felt the pull of that base instinct. Violent Husk. Maddened by massive infection. Charges at enemies with no thought for its own preservation. Um, again, this is what we were talking about. Some enemies have uh, just uh, their uh, their AIs programmed for suicide. You know, they'll come right at you for no, without stopping, no matter what's in front of them. Uh, the bugs of Hollow Nest were twisted out of shape by that ancient sickness. First they fell into deep slumber, then they awoke with broken minds, and their bodies started to deform. Uh, slobbering Husk. We have we all, we had unlocked him earlier, and this is his secondary entry. Uh, the affection that swept through Hollow Nest so long ago. They say that the harder you struggled against it, the more it consumed you. Um, that entry seems interesting because we know that the infection is spreading right now. Uh, we've seen the infection spreading aggressively. Hopper leaps at its prey and uses its sharp proboscis to draw to drain vital fluids. Sounds like a mosquito. This hopping thief's belly is full of the blood it has stolen from other beasts. If you hold it above a fire, the belly will grow and grow until it explodes in an extremely sh in, in a steaming shower of fluids. How do I light you on fire? Great Hopper leaps around the edge of the world trying to crush prey beneath its body. I need to defeat eight more to get the rest of it. There's a hiveling. Smallest of the hive inhabitants carries out simple tasks, kind of like a bee. And that's it. Uh, okay, so again, we discovered the Royal Waterways. Look at that. Look, the map is almost complete. Uh, looks like we have one section here where one of the dreamers is sleeping between the green path and fungal wastes, which I'm hoping tomorrow, not tomorrow, the next time we stream, uh, I'm hoping we can continue with that. So we've got some more stuff to do. We've unlocked uh, a bunch of new charms, which is great. I've equipped all of them. Um, we're doing good. This is fantastic. We made some real good progress today. You got this. <laughs> Thanks, Poplars. So that's it. We're uh, so we're done. We're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap this up, Revis. <laughs> so again, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by. Thanks for showing up, Poplars. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Everybody else that's out there, anybody that's lurking. Again, we don't call out lurkers in the room, so by all means, everyone's free to come by and watch. Uh, and whatever you want to say, you know, obviously keep it polite and in the chat and everything. But again, thanks everybody for showing up and uh, for coming out. Uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, you have anything to say, Rebus? You've been really quiet today. Yeah, you don't feel good. You're full from Thanksgiving. Yeah, it happens. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks again, Poplars, for showing up. Appreciated. Uh, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Freya's love. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I'm assuming you, uh, I'm assuming you, um, you subscribe to, to, to Freya's channel, right? Because that's how you have the icon. That's, I actually like that icon. Freya's love is really, I like that. And I already said, guys, once we, uh, once we get a sub button, once we affiliate, get, uh, get to affiliate status, we are going to be making a Revis icon. She's, uh, She's really excited about it. We are uh, we have an artist already that's ready to that's ready to, to create it in pixel art for me. So uh, we will be doing a a Rebus icon. All her proceeds and bits and go to the Trans Lifeline. Nice, that's fantastic. So there's a good streamer right there that donates all of her uh, all of her proceedings to uh, to helping out others. That's fantastic. So um so again everybody thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Glad to see everybody and. Um, we're going to continue this later. Uh, like I said, so tomorrow I'm going to get up in the morning again and do this. And we're going to do Kid Icarus. Um, I really want to do that. And then maybe after a couple tries of Kid Icarus, um, there. Yeah. Yes, they. We refer to them as they. <laughs> non-binary. They. Absolutely. Freya S is non-binary. They. Um, so um, all of their, all, yeah, all of their proceeds. Um, did I say? <laughs> it doesn't, we, we, we understand. Don't worry about it. Totally get it. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow, 
Kid Icarus uh, for at least like an hour, and after I get tired of getting my ass handed to me doing that, <laughs> we're going to go back to Metroid, and then uh, I'll get my ass handed to me on Super Metroid. So uh, you guys can come out to that. That's going to be an adult stream, so I am going to put the mature language filter on so that I can swear. Um, typically when I struggle, I like to swear, so I uh, will be turning the mature filter on for that. So those of you that want to hear me uh, go off the handle, by all means, you're welcome to come out on Sunday stream. So again, thanks everybody for showing up. Poplar's always a pleasure. I look forward to... Uh, to see in the pictures and uh hopefully your next stream will be not too long away because i want to see some more of that and i need to learn some more tips so uh any of you speedrunners out there for super metroid if you're listening please uh get on the channel so i can watch uh metadog one definitely uh i need you i need you to start streaming more so i can watch some more of your runs uh so guys have a good night and uh, everybody take care have a good weekend and good fight good night <laughs>